don't mind the boxes over here. I have to run down the stairs and put them in like a specific room and I'm just, I usually go down the stairs and not the elevator so I don't end up bringing them with me. But good morning, welcome to today's vlog. I am getting ready this morning. I'm about to go to my training appointment in a little bit. Which I'm so excited because all last week I was so sick. And now, I am feeling a lot better and I can finally work out again. And I can finally work out again. I actually need more cream. So I made sure that I had scheduled with him today on Monday so that this could just set the tone for the week so that I could be active. I'm wearing a really cute like outfit from Crop Shop Boutique. Well, this is from the sports bras from Lululemon, but the pants, which you guys saw in my last vlog, and then this jacket is from there as well. Um, and I like their stuff, it's really cute. I just put my hair in a braid, made myself some coffee. I'm gonna drink this, and then we're gonna head to my training appointment. Last night, I took some uh, CBD the CBD I talked about in my last video. And I I don't know if it's just because, I took a nap like right before I went to bed. Why do I look like so great? I took a nap right before I went to bed and that was like such a mistake because I couldn't even go to sleep last night. But I took a melatonin, then I woke up at like 5 a.m. with a raging headache, took some headache medicine, and then I like slept through all of my alarms this morning. So. We're kind of running late today, but that's okay. This whole week is supposed to be so beautiful. I'm so excited. It's gonna be like 57 today, 67 tomorrow, 70 Wednesday, 58 Thursday, 71 Friday. Like, oh my God, just, it's gonna be like in the 60s. And that, that's just so, that is so wonderful. I literally can't, but I'm gonna drink my coffee and then brush my teeth and stuff and then head to my training appointment and I'll have them record a little bit today since, I haven't done that in a while. And then we're just gonna spend the day together. I'm not sure what we have in store, but it's a Monday. So I usually like to use these days as like a, like a reset day. Cause my Sundays are usually like my recover day. And then Mondays are like my reset day for the rest of the week. So that's what we're gonna do. That is what we're gonna do. It is such a beautiful day out. I. I'm just so excited. I love that it's sunny out. I feel like I look like a straight egg. I love that it's sunny out. I love the sun. It's such an amazing day. What a good start to the week. I am headed to my training appointment right now though. I just am gonna drink one of these on the way there because I'm starving and I just didn't have time to cook and I didn't want like my lunch stuff right now because it's like an in-between time right now and all I have is egg whites and I didn't want to just eat like plain egg whites with nothing else that reminds me I need to order groceries but I'm drinking a core power chocolate uh, protein shake from Fairlife and I know this brand is super controversial because of like the way they treat their cows and stuff I don't know if they still do that but this was like a while ago and they had like this whole thing about not supporting them because the way they treat their cows. And I don't like supporting brands like that. Like I love animals. But I was at the gas station and this was the only one that they had that doesn't taste like chalk. So I grabbed it, I know. I really shouldn't support it. But maybe they changed and maybe they are better with their cows. So, so I'm gonna drink this and then I'm gonna drive over right now to my training appointment. Also, I got this bag the other day. It's a Bottega bag, and it's so cute. It's the Teen Jody one, um, and it's like in the suede. I'll give you a better look later, but it's so cute, and I love it. It's not like the best bag, because you kind of just have to throw everything in it, and there's not really like any organization into it, but it's so cute, I love it. <laughs>
unboxed the most beautiful shoes ever. I am obsessed with these. I feel like I've seen these so many times and I just decided to get them because I've been eyeing them up for so long and they look so good on. They look so good on. Tell me these aren't the cutest shoes ever. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. They just fit like so well. They just look so structured. Like they're the perfect little white sneaker. I was kind of scared because I didn't know if I was gonna like them or not. I was like, I've seen them on people and I'm like, these are fire. These are so beautiful. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna order them. I saw someone at the airport with them. I was like, this is my sign. All right, like I need them. They're like the perfect white casual shoe that aren't like super sporty and not like super like whatever. Not like super sporty and not super fancy. And I'm just glad that I don't have to return them because that would be horrible. I got them in a size 38, I'm a size eight, and they fit perfectly, like true to size. But I just got back from my training appointment. It was such a good workout. He worked me out so hard today. I'm dying, but right now I'm gonna make some lunch and then I'm probably gonna go up to the roof and just chill outside for a little bit because it's so nice out and I just wanna like vibe outside. I might edit a video up there. I don't know, we'll see. But first things first, I'm gonna make some lunch. And I grabbed one of these yesterday from Whole Foods. It's this like lentil um, thing. I've made these before and it's so good. It's like a lot of lentil shepherd's pie. I ordered a bunch of groceries that are coming for dinner later. I also want to like pick up my apartment. I have like just some random shit like on the floor and I have my cleaning lady coming tomorrow. So I just kind of want to get that all organized and then do some laundry just so that's all done for when she comes tomorrow. Um, but I'm not going to like vacuum or anything because that's what she's going to do tomorrow. So there's no point in doing it before she comes. And then I have like some shit in the bathroom on the counter. Where's the messiest place in your apartment? Because mine is my bathroom counter, always. Not like dirty, like there's not like shit all over it, but I mean there is. Not like, there's not like trash on it, it's like random shit. Like I have makeup bags all over there, I have perfume. It's just like stuff that needs to be organized, but that is like where I, where like my shit gets the messiest is my bathroom or my bedroom just because I kind of just throw everything around, but that's an easy. Hi Coco. Hey, hi. Yeah, hi. Love you. You're not going in the cabinet. All right. All right, I'm gonna make that. And then I'm gonna make some, I'm gonna make that now, chill, and pick up a little bit, and then I'm gonna go up to the roof and edit some of the video because we're getting back on our shit and we're gonna get organized and start the week off well. I'm so excited about those shoes though. Like, oh my God, wait, let me show you the back. I'm so excited about those shoes. Like those are so cute. And I had just been like going back and forth with myself about buying them because they are pretty expensive. But I finally was just like, all right, let's order them. Let's just see. And I'm so glad that I did because I was a little scared after I ordered them. I was like, damn, should I order those? I don't know if I do like them or not. I don't know if they're gonna look right. And I already know they're gonna look fire with everything. But I got this bag, which I kind of showed you in the car. It's this Bottega bag. It is so pretty. Like, that's not, tell me that's not the cutest bag ever. Oh my gosh, it was a little expensive, but so cute. And it's like the suede. But I wanted it. I needed a new bag because my other one is just getting like way too much use. So I wanted to switch it up. And I really liked this gray color. I wish it was leather, but they didn't have leather. 
I'm kind of scared that the suede is gonna like start to smell if I bring it out. So I probably won't bring this one out with me like if I'm going to like a club or something. Uh, I might just bring my leather one, but unless I can find like a place that like professionally like cleans bags, like I wonder if Nima Marcus like clean, cleans bags or like Bottega cleans their bags. All right, I just got my groceries delivered. So I'll show you guys what I got. I don't even remember like half the stuff that I got, but I got some Honest Kids juice. I got some ranch because I ran out. I got some olive oil. I got some tomato bisque for a recipe that I'm gonna make uh, for like a meal prep this week. I got some tahini for watermelon. Yeah. Cause I don't know if you guys remember, well, if you're new here, you won't know, but when I was in Texas, I got a pack of watermelon and it came with lime and tahini, and it was like the best thing ever. So I got that tea. Also, I'm wearing a blanket because I'm freezing as always. I got some protein pasta. I like this brand of the protein pastas because it doesn't taste like lentils or anything. Then I got some Star vegan breakfast sausage to cook in the morning. I got butter. I didn't realize I grabbed this much butter, but whatever. Um, also didn't realize that I got, you come here. Stop, let me just do this, please. All right, then I also didn't realize that I grabbed this big ass thing of breadcrumbs, but I guess we'll be set. Then don't, oh my God, seriously. What are we doing, guys? All right? Love you. Okay. Got that. Got to reset with that. Also, the lady who bagged my groceries, like, just maybe was a little slow today because I just am not comprehending how everything was packaged, but it's fine. Um, I got some purple bag Doritos. Love those, those are my favorite. I got some protein bagels, cinnamon raisin. I got some dino kale for that recipe that I was talking about. Um, apparently I got celery too, I didn't ask for celery. Wait, I'm so confused. Why is there celery in my bag? Wait, okay. Um, like two things of celery. I didn't order that. Okay, I didn't get charged for it either. I'm not gonna eat this. I don't eat celery, so I don't know. Maybe my friend will want it. Um, I got some Rao's marinara sauce. They didn't have the small one, I guess, so she got me the big one. This lady that was like shop that my shopper was literally like the worst shopper ever. Like. She was taking 10 years and she took another 10 years to get here. And then she called me and couldn't find the entrance to my building. And it really doesn't take rocket science to find the entrance to my building. Like it is a little confusing, but it's really not. Like if you put the address in, it brings you to the front of the building. And I just don't understand how like some people, it's rare, it's really rare if like someone has, an, has a problem with trying to find it. But like if they do have a problem finding it, they're usually just like not thinking logically. Like it's really not that hard. It's really not that hard. And I just told you, you need to stop it because I put it in my groceries. That'd be bad. Okay. Then I got a family pack of broccoli because I actually like eat a shit ton of broccoli. Um, I ordered two apples. I ordered two singular apples and she brought me this entire bag. What is going on right now? Okay. I'm gonna have to like run through this again. I got a whole pack of watermelon. This I actually ordered that much. Then I got these Applegate spicy chicken breast bites. These looked so good. I saw those at 
Whole Foods the other day, but I'm just confused why she packaged everything like this. Because usually like I would pack all the frozen stuff together. I don't know. Um, then I got some just steamed quinoa because that is for the one recipe. I got some Bob Evans mashed potatoes. These are the best mashed potatoes ever. And usually like I would just be super healthy and make my own, but I've been super lazy lately and I just know that that's not happening. So we're gonna use those. Then I got some cream cheese for the bagels. And then I got some, I got a lime for the watermelon. And then I got thin sliced chicken breast cutlets that are now warm because she's stupid. What the fuck, yo. Right, right now I'm prepping my dinner. So I'm gonna cook some stuff. I'm so excited about daylight savings. Also, can we just take a moment to see like how cute Coco looks right now? Like she just watched, she's just watching me. You watching me. All right. Tonight, I'm gonna make some chicken cutlets. And they're gonna be amazing. I just put so much breadcrumbs in here. I really don't need that much, but I'm not gonna cook all of my chicken today because this is so many, that's like such a waste of breadcrumbs. I do not need this. I'm not putting it back in here, but that's gonna make a mess. All right, whatever, we're just gonna waste it. It's fine. It's fine. And I don't have any eggs. I have egg whites, so I'm gonna use that. I think egg whites last like a bit. Which is healthy than I mean. Smells fine. It's good. I need to get two bags. I think I'm gonna make two just so that I can have some tomorrow for lunch. And I'm just gonna season it like lightly because the breadcrumbs are already seasoned. But I wanna make sure that it is, the chicken is seasoned. dinner turned out it looks so freaking good i accidentally burnt my broccoli a little too much but whatever i'm still gonna eat it and this is how the other one turned out so yummy this literally took me 10 minutes to make but i'm gonna eat this and chill for a little bit and then i'm gonna head up to the rooftop that i have here and like chill by the fire and get some work done after dinner the sunset is so beautiful oh my gosh skyline. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting for these beautiful sunsets again. Oh. 